Consider a city as a huge job market and infrastructure as the incubator for its productivity. We then have to realize that city models depend on the distribution of its business centers and the roads that lead to it. Also as a norm, we have to understand, based on multiple studies, people are willing to travel for one hour maximum to reach their work. The shorter the distance, the more efficient a worker can be and less expensive in terms of money and time. With all these facts, let's discuss the different models. The monocentric model. This is a model that most small cities follow. 50% or more of the jobs are concentrated in its center, which leads to higher density. Roads follow a radial pattern. Everyone can travel the same distance to reach the office, but this model creates congestion if not properly provided for. The dispersed model. Jobs in this city are distributed in multiple clusters. Theoretically, everyone is better off since they can locate their homes near their offices. In reality, someone's home could be located at the far end of the city and thus might have to travel from edge to edge. The roads of this model are randomly distributed. The composite model. This is the model that all big cities in the world roughly follow. It has most of its jobs concentrated in a city center without exceeding 30% of its labor force. And it has many smaller firms randomly dispersed on the map. ArcAnim is an initiative to simplify architectural educational concepts brought to you by the team at VFI Studio. So, if you want to support our work and you want to see more educational content like this one, please feel free to check the link below for VFI portfolio. And if you like our work, we'd also be very happy to be working together. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more educational content.